a couple have revealed how X Factor interrupted their sex in a very painful and bloody way. Emma Pierce, 34, and Alan Blake, 28, were having sex in their living room when she jolted around to watch the show which was on TV in the background. Explaining how they ended up in having sex during the show, she said he left the room during the adverts and came back with a naughty grin on his face, telling me he was in the mood. Student got vibrator stuck up her backside during sex with boyfriend I'd no idea why, we hadn't been watching anything sexy, but I said I was up for it too, so long as I could still watch The X Factor. Things started happening, but Alan's head kept blocking the telly. I'm still not quite sure how it happened, but I sort of jolted my body, so I could see Dermot reading the results properly, and must be accidentally pushed him the other way. In the process she managed to rip the skin on his penis. Emma, from St. Austell, Cornwall, said next thing I knew, there was blood everywhere. Worried about Alan and her cream carpets Emma took him to the bathroom, where she dialed the NHS 111 non-emergency number for advice. Asked by the operator to rate his pain on a scale of 1 to 10, Alan, who cannot work because of ill health, replied, What on earth do you think advised to take painkillers and wrap his penis in a flannel to help with the swelling? Two days later they visited their GP, where Alan was told he had torn his frenulum, or banjo string, a tag of skin between the foreskin and the shaft. He was told everything would heal naturally, although the doctor warned that he is now at risk of it happening again. We were told not to have sex again until it had healed, which ended up taking about a month, recalled Emma. Alan joked to the doctor, I don't want her to come near me anyway after this. We both saw the funny side. I was laughing in the doctors and making jokes about the movie Teeth, which is about a girl who has teeth in her vagina. The couple met in 2011 in a pub where Emma was working. Initially she dismissed Alan as a jack the lad. One day Emma was asked to clean up a pile of vomit at her pub so offered £10 to any customer who volunteered to help. In an act of nobility and true romance, Alan cleaned up the sick. Emma said I reached into my purse, grabbed a tenner, and shouted out, this is for anyone who helps me clean up some sick. Alan offered straight away. I was really flattered that he'd do that for me, even though, when we spoke about it later, he said that, although he fancied me, he mainly did did for the free drink. They moved in together in 2013 and have been having regular sex since. Emma continued wed do it all the time. Alan always made me feel like he wanted me. We had no other responsibilities. I mainly worked in the evenings, so wed spend all day in bed. It's how we passed the time. Even after that honeymoon period had passed and we were doing it less, things were still great. Now able to laugh about the banjo string incident, they say their relationship is stronger than ever and they have even welcomed a little boy, Archie, into the world. On New Year's Eve 2016, Emma said we do worry that it'll happen again, but we laugh about it all the time. I still watch The X Factor religiously, too, and now Alan knows better than to distract me.